Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an awesome week as always. If you don't know me, my name's Cora. I upload every Sunday, so make sure you subscribe to see when I upload. Today's video is a day late, so sorry for that, but that's because I've been waiting for this package for 15 days, you guys. I ordered this on November 15th, and it came December 2nd. So that's super annoying to me, but whatever. I'm glad to have finally received this package because I am going to be reviewing the KKW fragrances. Now, these fragrances made $10 million on their first day, so I wanted to see what all the hype is about. I also found it interesting that you can only order these online, so you can't smell them before you order them, so you're kind of taking a big risk. So I decided to give you my thoughts on these fragrances, and I'm also having a giveaway, so stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can win one of them as well. Without further ado, let's get into it. Kim Kardashian released three fragrances for this launch and they all looked really beautiful, but I decided to order two out of the three. So I'm going to read you the descriptions of all three of the fragrances, show you the ones I got, and then we'll test them out. KKW Crystal Gardenia is the first one. It's a voluptuous, lush, and feminine fragrance. Crystal Gardenia offers a top note of water lily, evoking a lush, wet, petally effect to the opening. Not really sure how I expect expected to smell based on that, but sounds very feminine. The next one I ordered is KKW Crystal Gardenia Citrus. This one says a bright, fresh floral bouquet capturing all stages of a flower. From the sparkling citrus green bud to the delicate freshness of a newly opened blossom. And the last one is the Crystal Gardenia OUD. Oh, I thought it was called Duo, but it's OUD. Ode? Not sure how you'd pronounce that. This opens with captivating top notes of bergamot and lavender, while a blend of exquisite red rose and inviting jasmine is highlighted by soft spices lending to the floral depth. You can order this fragrance in 75 milliliters for $60, or the 30 milliliter for $35, except for the last one doesn't come in the smaller size. So the first two seemed really appealing to me. They were really feminine and cute. Um, for me, just at my age, bergamot and lavender and anything described is spicy. It doesn't really appeal to me. I always find that that smells like an older or more mature fragrance. Also, I didn't like that I couldn't order a smaller size of the third one because I wanted to test it out. You can't smell it on her website. I was really pleased with how the packaging came. I order from Kylie Cosmetics a lot and I always get worried that someone is going to steal my packages because they're not the most discreet looking in the mail. My KKW fragrances came in a really discreet brown box. It didn't have KKW on the outside at all, so I wasn't worried that it was going to get stolen. Inside the brown box were these two pretty little boxes. So I thought this was really classy and a really nice way that I received my package. The first one is the Gardenia fragrance. It looks like this in the box. And can I just say, this is beautiful. Like, it looks like a crystal. It's one of the prettiest perfume bottles I've ever seen. And also, I just opened this, came with this really cute little envelope, and inside, oh my gosh, there's little crystals. That's so cute. KKW Fragrance Clear Quartz awakens an amplifier of energy, brings balance and alignment to all areas of the mind and body. Good job, KKW. This is a really nice presentation. Moment of truth. We're gonna smell what this smells like, this fragrance that you order online and can't even smell before. Okay. You know what? This reminds me a lot of Izzy Miyake fragrances, if you've ever smelled those. They're really clean and light. They don't smell too heavy. It definitely, it smells extremely strong of gardenia. If you don't like gardenia, you'll hate this. It smells just like gardenia. I feel like it's extremely concentrated with that. I definitely smell the water lily. I kept describing it as like a wet fragrance in the description. I think what they meant by that is it's just very strong. I definitely think it smells a little more mature. Like I'm 23 and I definitely think like I would tend to go for a more like fruity citrus smell. So definitely if you're like 25 to 30, I think this would be a good choice. Is that weird? This is like what I would imagine Kim Kardashian to smell like. I actually think I'm gonna layer the citrus one on top of that and then see what they smell like together because I feel like it'd be good layered. I'm gonna open the citrus one now. It looks the same except it's pink and I'm gonna start with the envelope. And we get some pink crystals with these ones. So this is rose quartz and it's the stone of love and emotional healing. Enhances self-love and self-acceptance. I know Kim was talking about how a lot of her friends gave her healing crystals after her incident in Paris and 
You can definitely tell she's very inspired by that in this collection. Opening it up, it looks the same except the fragrance is rose. Ooh, I really like this one. I feel like this one isn't as strong though. Like I can still smell this one like really, really strong on my wrist. This one definitely feels a lot lighter and I don't think it's as fragranced. Like it definitely feels like really light and fruity, which is nice. As it settles in, I'm getting a little bit more of the gardenia notes, but it's definitely really sharp and definitely really citrusy. It's not too fruity. It's really nice. These two actually smell really different. I was expecting this one to smell pretty similar, but I actually really like this one a lot. I'm gonna try layering them now. So I have the gardenia one on this wrist. So I'm gonna spray the citrus. Okay, I really like that combination. These two layered smell so good. I feel like the citrus really cuts down on the really florally fragrance and it smells really nice, I like it. I notice about both of these is they both smell really clean. Like you just got out of the shower, you're all fresh and you're ready to kickstart your day. It's definitely really bright. I am now pretty curious to smell the third one. Maybe that's a more night out fragrance. I think these are definitely very appropriate for the day. Now for the giveaway announcement, I decided to pick up a third KKW fragrance for you guys. I got the Gardenia fragrance. This is just as a thank you because I've been talking about forever. I'm going to have a 10,000 subscriber giveaway and I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to do that. If you want to win a KKW fragrance and I'm going to throw in some of my skincare goodies as well. Make sure you read the giveaway rules in the description. I'll have everything linked. It'll be super easy to enter. You have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'll also have some additional ways to enter. For the timing, as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll pick a winner. I will make this international. And pretty much if I hit it in two days or two weeks, the winner will be announced then. I want to thank you guys so much for your support on my channel and for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you enter the giveaway in the description and I'll see you next time. Bye!